Welcome to the 6th Emerging India Awards. I'm Shireen Bhan. As we've been telling you over the past few weeks, we continue to put the spotlight on India's SMEs, small and medium enterprises that are the backbone of India's booming economy. Today, we look back at the past and we also look forward into the future. Our first guest was a winner at last year's award. In fact, he won the award for the most promising SME of the year. Here's the story of Bhanu Chopra and Red Game. So let's check it and see how life has changed for Red Game in the past year. Thanks, Shireen. I'm with Banu Chopra, the founder of Rate Game, which of course won the most promising small enterprise last year. 34-year-old Bhanu Chopra's innovation allows the travel and hospitality industry to offer the best rates and make a gain. That's the philosophy of this SME IT provider, Rate Gain. Rate Gain currently provides 5,000 hotels around the world as well as 50 online travel agencies, analysis of air ticket prices, hotel tariffs and available inventory. This allows business to access the best rates on one platform and offer their prices competitively. Now Rate Gain is looking to tap new sectors. It's trying to sign a couple of deals with airlines as well as start providing similar analysis to retail chains and life science companies. Thanks, Bunny, for talking to us here at CNBC TV 18. So the next six to nine months, you said we're going to see a deal. Is it going to be a domestic deal, a global one? Which one? A short answer is it's going to be a global deal. We're, uh, we're prominent in international markets today. Uh, larger, uh, a larger customer base is in the U.S. and Europe. So those are the areas that we are looking at. Um, we're looking to sort of consolidate in the marketplace that we operate. So we're basically looking to see if there are opportunities to integrate with companies that offer complementary solutions that would be a good fit with our products. So there are a couple that we are pursuing and we are, um, we are hoping that we'd be able to close one of them. So will you be foraying into new markets post this acquisition? As of now, we focus on the travel and hospitality segment and we've always felt the solution set that we have can be applied to other verticals as well. For instance, it can go into retail, pharmaceuticals, but we sort of had our hands full in terms of trying to penetrate travel and hospitality. So it is in our plans this year to start exploring what verticals would make the most amount of sense. Uh, we're fairly excited about the retail vertical and that's how we're sort of evaluating these um, inorganic opportunities as well, companies that can sort of get access into these different verticals very quickly uh, through the inorganic route. So you must have been very happy then with the discussion paper that the Indian government came out as far as opening up FDI for the retail sector is concerned because that will open up doors for you as well. Right. Well, you know, in, in, in terms of investments that we would be doing, we're not particularly into retail, but we are offering software solutions to retail. Um, and as of now, the, the focus is going to be Europe and the U.S. Um, and I think it's going to take some time for our product set to have any applicability here in India. Uh, it's a similar thing with travel as well. You know, when we started out, the OTAs and the online travel market was just sort of building up, and it's ripe now, and that's why you know, we're, we're going all out now. We're, we're, we're spending a lot of um, uh, effort in, in building the Indian market because there's the awareness now. Uh, in fact, we've, we've uh, built some teams here and we're getting a great response. So in the coming months, you will see a lot of, um, you know, a lot of rate gain brand being noticed within the travel and hospitality. I think the retail in India, per se, would have to wait for a few months. Rate Gain decided to go for major talent acquisition last year post the economic meltdown. In fact, 60 of the 200 employees were hired in 2009. But that's not all. There are other acquisitions that are also keeping Chopra busy. He says Rate Gain is serious about inorganic growth and a deal may be announced in the next six to nine months. Do you have any plans of tapping the capital market? I've said this in the show of the last time. Uh, there is a potential that we will evaluate um, a potentially going uh, public uh, in 2011. Uh, you know, we, we're bombarded with uh, requests from a lot of PE firms. Uh, so uh, we have appointed a banker, so we're evaluating, you know, sort of what is the best route for doing fundraising because eventually, you know, raising, going into capital markets about getting access to funds and there are 
different means of getting access to funds. So we want to evaluate what would make most amount of sense at the juncture that we are in at present. Because you're going to have to access funds if you're going to be doing an acquisition six right. to nine months. So. Right. Well, uh, luckily the um, the the um, companies that we're looking at as of this point, um, they are within our realm, so we can support them. Uh, through our balance sheet and our internal accruals, which we feel very proud of. Uh, so, so there isn't any need for, for those particular acquisitions. But yes, in the future, as we look to consolidate more, um, in our industry, the, the marketplace is a little fragmented. There are a number of players, so there's definitely an opportunity for a bigger player to come in and consolidate all these players uh, to create economies of scale. Thanks a lot, Banu, for talking to us. That Banu saying rate gain should be the most promising web intelligence company. And with that, it's a wrap over here. Well, Banu here is wishing you the very best of luck with your plans to go global. Time for us to take a break, but when we return, the story of Manish Palmer, one of the possible contenders for this year's Emerging India Awards. Stay on with us.